What is up guys, Rick Kakis here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going to be discussing a bunch of different secrets for the upcoming Beyond Light expansion for Destiny 2. Some are still ongoing and there's an effort to try and solve them. Some have been solved and they include some huge pieces of information as well as some rewards that you, that's right, you watching can get right now actually and so let's get started. But just before we do, it's Wednesday and every single Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, myself, True Vanguard, and Mtash host the Real Gamer Hour podcast. It is the first link in the description. Go down there, click it, check it out, or I guess you're not a real gamer. Yeah, I said it. All right, now let's start here with this information. Where is this coming from? Well, there are actually several different sources. Firstly, people have started to receive their collector's edition of Beyond Light. Now, of course, they're not able to play Beyond Light yet, but the collector's edition came with a bunch of goodies. And previously, collector's editions have revealed information, even codes and rewards that have been pretty important. And it looks like this year, it's no different. And everyone's favorite Forbes author, Paul Tassi, has made a great article kind of compiling all this information. I'll link it down below. But one of the most important things is the reveal of three different codes. And these codes are actually capable of being redeemed literally right now for three different emblems, as you can see in the background gameplay. And I'm gonna put up those three codes on screen right here so you can pause the video, go and enter those. Now you're not able to equip these emblems just yet, but you can unlock them and have them ready. And yes, even though these codes came from the little pyramid that like comes with the collector's edition, they're actually capable of being redeemed by everyone and anyone. Like everyone can use those same codes to get those exclusive emblems. But moving on from there, we have some more really interesting, kind of spoiler heavy, so warning, pieces of information that came out of this Vanguard journal that came with the collector's edition. So, first off, there are reports of life under the surface of Europa, somewhat similar to Titan. However, it mentions there are no signs of Ahamkara. So thank goodness we don't have another Riven swimming under the surface of Europa. In any event, Mithrax, who is the fallen ally that you actually encounter in the Zero Hour mission to go and get the Outbreak perfected, he is actually relaying information to the Guardians, so yes, he is a true ally, and he mentioned something about darkness zones on Europa, and the speculation is that potentially they suppress your light, and maybe you're only able to use, or only able to equip your stasis subclass in those areas, which could definitely be an interesting gameplay element. But moving on from there, the next piece of information, Exo memories all seem to be linked to Europa as the moon in their dreams. So Europa, of course, the Deepstone Crypt is there as well, where the Exos were developed. That does make sense. Moving on from there, there are theories that Xur may have found slash assembled his physical body from somewhere on Europa. And the Nine are interested in the dark matter on Europa. So potentially... The Nine, of course, you know, Xur being related to them, they are pretty heavily involved in the Prophecy Dungeon available right now, as well as the Reckoning activity. I didn't really think they'd have any part to play within Beyond Light, but maybe they actually do. Moving on from there, we have confirmation that Gaul, the main villain originally for Destiny 2, got the light suppression technology he used against us and the Traveler, from the Dreadnought, which of course is still sitting there waiting to be activated or, you know, something within the Rings of Saturn. And finally, we do also have confirmation that the Exo Stranger is actually Elsie Bray, Anna Bray's sister, because she talks about their grandfather, Clovis Bray, and his, quote, hideous experiments which he did to try to achieve immortality. So it says, quote, readers beware, my grandfather was worse than you know. 
And there's a theory going on that the raid boss potentially, and this is just a theory, is not Aramis. She's rather the story boss, but is actually like an exo version of Clovis Bray because he's gone evil and crazy. And that would make sense if the raid is the Deep Stone Crypt. Again, very associated with the Bray's exos. It's all coming together. But moving on from there, we actually have again some more secrets that are still ongoing. Firstly, on the Bungie website, there is this really interesting page where you can enter these random symbols and letters and then you try to analyze it and it almost always says, uh, you know, authorization failed. As you can see, I've done all I can do. I tried password, didn't work. So potentially there are more emblems or whatever to be found within this website and that's again still being worked on but there's speculation that this website may have something to do with the end of season activity for Season of Arrivals. That's right, we're not done with Season of Arrivals just yet. To give the short explanation, essentially there's this emblem still available within the database. It was added this season, Season 11, and the source specifically says it's from the end of season event. So, similar to last season within Season of the Worthy, when we had the opportunity to witness the Almighty be destroyed in the sky and fall down to the ground, potentially and likely there's another live event to end off season 11 and kick us into beyond light and maybe this website and deciphering it has something to do with that or potentially it's where we enter rewards and codes that we find in game from this end of season activity but regardless it really does seem all the evidence points to the fact that something is going to happen between now and essentially the end of currently Festival of the Lost and the launch of Beyond Light. But moving on from there, another secret being worked on is this right here. Now, you've probably seen this. This is the Beyond Light wallpaper, and this is the 4K version of it, and this was officially released by Bungie. So what's the secret? Well, if you scroll way up to the top left-hand corner, as you can see, there is some sort of like weird maze or there's some speculation that this may be a scrambled QR code or something, but this is weird. And unless this is some sort of random accident that someone put out, it really does seem to be placed there on purpose to reveal something. And what that something is, is currently unknown. In any event, guys, that's it for the information and the secrets. And uh, if you want to have a crack at this maze, have a crack at the analyzation website, good luck. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. that's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.